What's up guys, we are back with some Fallout New Vegas and today we are going to be enhancing these graphics just a little bit. Um, I decided that I want to get an ENB for this game. Uh, it looks a bit desaturated and very orangey and while I did like playing without an EMB from my first playthrough, I think it's time for an upgrade. So what we're going to do is we're just going to download the ENB uh, binaries, which is actually pretty easy. So I'm going to back out of the game. Okay, so adding the ENB binaries is quite easy. You're going to come over to this EMB dev site. I'll put the link for it in the description. It says it's not secure, but this website is secure. I always download my EMB binaries for every game from this website. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to the bottom right here, and we're going to click on this one, and we're going to hit download. We're in the download section, and what we're going to do is open up this EMB series that we just downloaded. We're going to click in this folder right here, the wrapper version, and then we're going to locate where our Fallout New Vegas is. I have the Steam version, so it's located in the Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Fallout New Vegas, right here where the executables are. You're just going to grab, you can grab everything, but I don't grab these last two files. They're just text documents. I grab everything from here and then just drag it and then just drop it in your folder like that. And there you go. That should be it. Uh, you could just delete this zip file. You don't need it anymore. And now you're free to go ahead and download some presets and stuff like that. But we're just going to jump back in the game and just use the default binaries and see what changes that they made. All right. So here we are in game. You know that it's working because you can see in the top left, it'll show you that the EMB series is installed and it will show you your uh, your your settings. As you can see, I got a GTX 1070 piece of crap. I know, but uh, you will also notice that your game takes a little bit longer to load when you have an EMB installed. So keep that in mind. It's just one of the drawbacks of having it. But it's not too much of a problem on the older games. You will really notice it on something like Skyrim Special Edition. So already you can see that it looks much better. The settings are on by default. When you have your EMB dev installed, you can hold down the shift key and press enter, and then you can make settings like this. So you can actually choose to turn the whole effect off. This is how it looks without the EMB devs, and this is how it look with it is, with it on, excuse me. So you can adjust like original post processing, stuff like that, use bloom. Like I said, I don't have any of those uh, EMB presets. This is just the default one. So later on, we could try different things like Rudy, EMB, and things like that. But I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to just install the EMB binaries. It's actually very simple and, you know, pretty easy. So like I said, I'm going to leave the link to that website in the description below. If you're still here, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.